Hey everybody, this is Miss Jason and this is going to be a quick video on how to use Desmos as just a straight up calculator. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your URL bar and you're going to type in desmos.com if you're like me and use it all the time, it's going to pop up. Now, once you get to this screen, you have some options. You can click on this big blue graphing calculator and go straight to the graphing calculator, or you can collect math tools because Desmos offers several different graphing calculators. So we're gonna select the graphing calculator, which again is the big blue button on the first screen. And if you don't have your handheld graphing calculator with you, I think mine's upstairs, I was gonna grab it to show, you can use this. So for example, let's say you've got um, a 5 fourths and you've got that fraction, you want to see the decimal equivalent. You've got it right there. So you can do a fraction to decimal quick. You can also go the other way around, 1.25. And as soon as you type in a decimal that's a rational number, remember rational numbers can be turned into fractions, you're going to get this fraction equivalent here, which is 5 fourths. Notice, if we type in 3.14, which is an approximation for pi, it's not the same as pi, okay, it's close, we will get a fraction equivalent for 3.14. If you want the actual irrational number pi, you've got that here. Now, this number is rounded, so this is not all of the decimals of pi. For those of you that have memorized hundreds of digits of pi, you know it doesn't stop there. But Desmos' screen is finite, it can only show us so much. Um, Desmos also does order of operations. If you want to get rid of things you've done here, you can click these away. Um, you can also make this bigger if you just want to focus on the calculator piece. If you want to know what 3 plus 6 to the seventh power is to use an exponent or to make an exponent you're going to hit shift and then the six key to get that caret and then we could do the fifth power the other option if we want to do that same thing is you have that keyboard here that pops up and I'm going to move my face so that you can see the other options here so you can use the keyboard here and this is handy if you have the Desmos app on your phone you're going to see something similar to this and I would highly recommend getting that Desmos app for your phone because you can use that instead of the graphing calculator as we're working virtually digitally. Um, your teacher may restrict that if you're doing a test or quiz so that you have the Desmos calculator instead. So that can be something perhaps that your teacher makes available to you through Schoology. All right, so let's say we want to use some exponents here. I'm going to get a new line. To get a new line, you just click below and it'll make new lines for you. So we are going to do, let's see, 5 minus 8 raised to the, now if you want an, a square, if you want to square something, you just hit squared. However, if you want to do um, 7 to the fourth, you're going to use this a to the b power. That's going to give you a fourth power, okay? Let's say you want a square root. You see the square root right here is a square root button down below. You could use that square root button. Oh, let me get rid of that. I don't want that next year. I want it on a new line. If I want to know what the square root of 150 is, Notice that's not a perfect square, so when we try to take the perfect square of a number that is not a perfect square, we get an irrational result, okay? So that irrational result, you'll notice that's the same as a square root. You can type in SQRT and Desmos recognizes that as square root. That's the same as 25 times 6. So if you do that, I'm going to keep my multiplication here, 25, 6, you can see these two are equivalent. This is how we simplify rational expressions, right? If you were in Algebra 1 last year, you did that. And we can say, well, the square root of 25, this is the same as QRT of 25. And then I'm going to come out of the square root sign. You just arrow to the left with the arrow button on your keyboard. And you type again square root of 6. And you can notice, look, all of these are equivalent. So these three expressions are equivalent expressions. We're verifying that they're equivalent expressions. And then we can also say, well, I know the square root of 25 is 5, so 5 square root of 6. And again, we have another equivalent expression. So here we can use Desmos to justify and verify our solutions. We can use it as a calculator. It has several other functions in this functions key, but I'll save those for another video. I hope this was helpful to get you started.